Hey, how's it going, Cloud Scholars? I'm your host, Kieran Tross, and I'm with another how-to video for you all. In this how-to video, I'm going to talk about how to enable password right back um, from Azure AD. Um, so with this video, it's, it's going to be pretty jam-packed. You know, um, it's gonna, I'm going to cover a lot of different things in terms of uh, enabling password right back, the ways of doing it, doing it from on-prem, doing that kind of configuration setups within um, this video. Uh, but what I want to start off and talk a little bit about is, you know, why you would want password right back. You know, you, you can set your, uh, your environment up where, you know, things sync up to the cloud. But one of the best things to do is sync back from the cloud to on-prem. And one of the reasons why you want to do that is if you enable something like SSPR, which is self-service password reset for your organization, you can eliminate probably about 15 to 25% of your help desk calls. And you can have your service desk, help desk, whatever you want to call them, uh, utilizing their time to uh, push the organization forward in other endeavors. Right. So um, that's that's one of the reasons why you want to, you know, enable this feature. So we're, we're going to talk a little bit about this feature as well. But let's 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 think for back for a second. Right. So if, if you allow your users to perform self password reset, um, I'd recommend you turn it on right backs in a hybrid environment where Azure AD is connected to an on premise Active Directory system. This can cause issues. So let's say we have a user who goes online, uh, portal.office or whatever, and they're like, hey, you know, they change their password, and then they go to try to log into a domain joint PC, what would happen is it would still have the old, the old password because guess what? You didn't have password right back, right? Your, your, your organization is only sync going to the cloud versus from the cloud. So that can cause, you know, a major issue right there. So that's what the, one of the things that you want to do for password right backs. So in terms of setting up our environment and getting things going in this how-to video, uh, here are some of the prerequisites. Uh, a work in Azure AD tenant with at least an Azure AD Premium P1 or trial license enabled. Uh, account with a hybrid identity administrator. Uh, then we'll need an Azure AD configured for self-service password reset. And then an existing on-premise AD DS environment configured with a current version of Azure AD Connect. What are the steps to success? So. In order for us to get through this video successfully, we need to do three things. One, we need to enable self-service password reset. Two, we need to enable cloud sync self-service password right back. So that's the agent. That's the provisioning agent um, that gets installed. Um, I, I just want to show you that portion. Honestly, we can do the self-service password reset and then do the cloud sync um, uh, uh, Azure AD uh, connect uh, permissions and, and set it through there. But the reasons why I want to talk about the Cloud Sync agent is because you can install these wizards and you could go through with the installation. But what happens when you run into a problem? You need to understand what's going on under the hood in order for you to really get to that expert level. So um, that's why I'm going to go through that second step for you so you can get an understanding, plus provide some Microsoft documentation as well. So that will have it for the deck. Let's uh, get to rolling up our sleeves and let's head over to the Azure portal. Okay, now we're at the Azure portal. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna enable self-service password reset. So what we need to do to, to do that is click on Azure Active Directory. And then once here, we're gonna click on password reset. And if you see in the properties at the moment, we don't have it configured. Well, I do have it configured. Sorry about that. I have it on selected and marketing. I'm just going to change that to all. If you want to do a group, you can. You can just put down whatever group you want to put in it. But I'll just do all for now. And I'll just hit save. So the next thing we need to do is set up the authentication methods. So if you click on the authentication methods, we can say number of messages required to reset. Right now we have it on one, you could put it on two. It's totally up to you what you want to do. Um, I'm going to leave it as one just for the sake of this video. I already have it set up that way. Another thing I want to show you is um, registration. So require users to register when signing in. You click yes. When the people sign up, they have to register so that this way that um, they can uh, have their uh, different um, authentication methods set up. And then you have notifications. 
uh, notify users on password resets is set for us right now on yes and then notify all admins when other admins reset their passwords is set on no this one because it's a test environment but if this was in the real production environment i would say put that on yes this is very important so let's just go ahead and let's put that on yes and it says right here determines whether or not all global administrators receive an email to their primary email address when other administrators reset their passwords you definitely want to do that um, because if somebody were to get compromised you wouldn't know and I would hope that you would have, you know, uh, multi-factor authentication for um, administrators. Actually, if you have a higher level account, um, that's one of the default rules in Azure is to make sure that you have uh, multi-factor authentication. Okay, so now that we have that set up, let's go over and let's see how we can determine if password um, right back is enabled or not. So we're gonna go over here and actually I should go right back so I can show you something. Uh, On-premise integration at the moment, you'll see that we'll get an error message. No agents are capable of performing password right backs haven't been detected. So install the sync agent for it to work. And if I were to go to a user and you can see if it's on-premise integrated or not. So these two are, so let's say Claretta Jones and I go to reset Claretta Jones password. Can't do it because password right back isn't enabled. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you about the sync agent. And what I'll do is I'm also going to uh, show you how to enable password right back within Azure AD. All right, here we are, we're back on the server. Um, and if I were to come here, and if you look at the Microsoft documentation, it does talk about um, Azure AD Connect Cloud Provision Agent. Um, that's the agent that, it, that it's referring to. Um, if it's not installed, it's normally shown in uh, C Program Files, Azure AD Connect Provision Agent. And we see we're in Program Files, but there's no Azure AD Provision Agent here. Um, even if I were to come down here to um, control panel, you would see it a provisioning agent. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to put right back on and enable it within Azure AD Connect. So let me show you about that first before I go about with the uh, provisioning agent. So I'm going to come here to customize synchronization options and I'm going to put the credentials in. And then once I have the credentials in, I'm going to click on next. I'm going to make sure I have my um, right sync OUs. And I'm going to click on password right back. And what it's doing, it's going to do is it's checking for installed components. And you can install the provisioning agent, but what this should do is it should install it for us. If we run into any issues, I can show you exactly where that um, agent gets installed from. We're going to give this a little while once it's done. Uh, we'll come back to the video. So as you can see, once we did the password write back, the provisioning agent was installed. That's the Azure AD Connect provisioning agent. If I come back over here and I look Azure Microsoft Azure AD Connect provisioning agent. So, you know, um, there was another way of getting that provisioning agent installed. Um, so I'm going to refresh this and see if it does come up with anything. Oh, look at that. Your on-premise right back client is up and running. So it says not detected at the moment, but we'll wait a little bit. Um, and what I want to show you is right back password for Azure AD Connect Cloud Sync. We can definitely put that on. Um, um, and we want to make sure that that's checked off as well. And we'll wait for that to kind of just uh, go through. We just finished up with it. But I wanted to show you as well is um, 
if we were to come over here to home, oh, not home, excuse me, sorry about that, Azure AD Connect, and if we were to come down here to Azure AD Connect, and we were to click on Manage Azure AD Cloud Sync, now I had to create another account. For some reason, my main account did not want to show me this information. I don't know why. I looked online. It looked like it's probably a little bug, but I just gave this account temporary global admin rights, um, MFA'd it, you know, making sure that, you know, nobody can come in and try to steal those credentials. And when I click on this now, I'm able to see, it's taking a little while to load up. I'm able to see where it says download agent and I can download the agent and this is it right here. And then I run the wizard after, um, but I don't need to do that anymore because once you do the password right back within Azure AD connect here, if you notice, we didn't have this much stuff showing up over here. And when you, when you enable it here, it's going to automatically install that agent cause that's supposed to be a part of it. And what you see here is the Microsoft A Azure AD Connect Provision and Agent. And we gotta double click on this. And if you click on AAD Connect Provision and Agent, you right click and you go to properties, you can see what version you're on. So if we go to details, we can see that we are on file version 1.1.9770. Um, and if I look at the Microsoft documentation, I believe it's 1.5 at least that you need to be on in order for this to work correctly. Okay, now it's time to head back to the Azure portal. And what we're gonna do is going back into Azure Active Directory and we're gonna go back to our password reset. And what I wanna do is go back to on-premise integration. We wanna make sure we check everything off here, allow you just to unlock account without reading set passwords. But let's see, um, if this password right back is working fun properly, right? Cause it's given us this error, um, but I believe it's still working properly because if I were to go to users, and if you remember at the beginning of this video, we went to Clarita James, who's an on-premise user, and we went to reset her password. We were getting that error message saying, password can't be reset because you don't have password right back turned on. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna click on reset password and Let's see what it says. It says it's not giving us that error message anymore. So I am going to put in a password really quickly and see what it, what comes up with Azure. Just throwing in anything in there and I'm just going to click reset. All right, see, so it says password has been reset. So we know our password right back is working um, properly. Um, so that's it. That's a really good thing. We're able to walk through all the steps of this video. Uh, so, um, if you have any questions or concerns or something that you don't understand, please, uh, drop a comment, you know, I are, you know, um, something that you want me to go into greater detail. I have no problem doing that as well. So I want to thank you all for watching this video. If you found this information, uh, to be uh, informative or this, this video to be informative, then I would say just please hit that like and subscribe button. I really appreciate you spending the time here with me um, and going over the content that I provided for you. Um, here at Cloud Scholars, my goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.